And that's what I said. It should be like right there. That's what I said. All right, here we go. Getting our Mountain Dew Kickstarter going. It's like how I like to start the morning. Pikmin Lover, I need help with Onion Knight. I cannot get it. Um, okay, that's a specific quest. You need to go back to your village in the beginning. The kids will be missing. You'll go into that cave, and you'll go, like, play hide-and-seek with all the kids. And, uh, after that is over, you'll have the Onion Knight ability. So go back to that cave in the beginning. Like, go back to the town in the beginning, and you should get the quest that the kids are missing. You know that you? I do. Yeah, I know. You got that ridiculous box of corn dogs. Yeah. I literally like them with mustard. Um, Pikmin lover, let me know if that helps. Um, you also need to check. I don't have the quest. You need to go to the Kupos and check your uh, letters. You need to check your letters with each character. Okay? Check your letters. You should get a uh, letter stating that the kids are missing. Um, like they keep going farther and farther out to play. And then all of a sudden the kids didn't come back. And they don't know where the kids went. That kind of a thing. I don't have the quest. Um, it should be from the old dude from the main village. My letter only saw how are you. Okay, then you're not far enough in the game yet. Need to continue on with your main story. And always check the Koopos wherever you are. Check them with each character. So that way you don't miss the quest. Because eventually it'll pop up and say that they're missing. Yes, got that phoenix down, bro. Man, they talk about linear path. This is one hell of a linear path, guys. And look at that lava. So much lava. Got that protect ring. Yeah. Alright. Because I've not seen a ring, I need to know how this ring thing works. Wait, what? It's not equipment. Um. Oh, later can't... Gotta go by for now. Later, Squidtopia forever. You have a good one, man. Um, is it magic? Um, Camelot Two. Yes, I've beaten Final Fantasy Thirteen on the Xbox and the PlayStation. I've beaten Thirteen Two. Uh. Partially, I say partially because I don't have the true ending yet on the Xbox. Like the 360 is what I'm talking about when I say Xbox. I have a 360 and a PS3. Um, I bought the game for the Xbox originally before I had a PS3. And then I vowed to have it for everything because I love the story of Final Fantasy XIII. I love everything about it. Um, however, I do realize this. Steam does not have the DLC available, or it comes in altogether. I don't know. Um, for 13.2, because I'm going to be pretty pissed off if you can't do everything in 13.2 uh, on the on Steam like you can the uh, PlayStation and Xbox 360. Okay, I got the Protect Ring. Oh, wait, what? Okay, in this area, go north along either northbound path and grab the Holy Lance. Okay, got a new weapon for my uh, Dragoon here. Oh! Okay, I'll take it. 
Oh wait, the protect ring. It's an accessory, isn't it? Yep, that's what I thought. Um, okay. Morning after tea. Oh, thank you. Uh -oh. Oh. Thank you, babe. Yeah, I saved your life right there. I'll hold on to this to get this up. Okay. You got it? Yep. You want me to put this back over yep. here? Yep. Sure. And yeah, just take these. I have way too much stuff. Thank you, babe. Ah, ah, ah. Hot plate. Ooh, hot plate, hot plate. Just a little bit. Now I'll put my drink over here on the other side so I can actually take a drink out of it instead of fighting with my plate here. There we go. Put the protect ring on here. Um, let's see. Is it possible to get all the onion night? Uh, get the onion night before going to the final boss? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have onion night. Look at this. Look. Onion Knight, right there. And if you're lucky, uh, if you max out Onion Knight, if you max out the level, you will no longer have, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, you will no longer have uh, negative stat effects. Uh, also, yeah, I got the same with Final Fantasy 13 and 13 2, by the way. 13 3 sucks. I have it for the PlayStation 3. Do not spoil it for me because I need to finish 13 2 completely. Completely. And I might actually do that in some spare time. I might actually take the time and grind out 13.2 completely in its entirety to get everything and then move over to 13.3 and beat the crap out of it. Um, if I end up streaming it, I'll have to get a hold of my buddy, a Wild Wesso, and use his setup uh, because he's borrowing my capture card while he's getting an Elgato. And I'll be getting, I will be getting a capture card this fall regardless. I know it's cheap and so will the setup pieces when I go to buy my computer parts. Uh, I have to wait one hour to see the letter. What? You got to wait one hour, Pikmin lover? Whoa. How does that work out? Okay. We grab the Holy Lance. Then head east or west along either path until you reach a set of two close together northbound paths. Okay. What awesome FF13 2 is so awesome. I love all of the 13 games, guys. Like, I bought all of the DLC on the uh, PlayStation uh, because I can. <laughs> um, because I had the ability to do so. Not to mention, I wanted all of the extra stuff. I still have 13.3 from the pre-order. I didn't even, like, install it or anything. I didn't do anything with 13.3. Nothing. All right, let's... Oh. Let's save this. And then we'll go in. Crystal Tower. Hey, something's happening. Oh, snap! That's the way inside. The key that Doga gave us worked. Let's do this. The Forbidden Land. Eureka!
What? There's a hidden shop in here. There's magic shops. And treasures abound. What? Okay. FF15 pre-ordered. I don't have 14 either. Um, I would like to play it, but I'm like still on that that feel of uh, pay-to-play games are kind of like evil. I've got to really, really want to be interested, and I'm a completionist if it's a pay-to-play game. Like I have, uh, I I've started goofing around with Terra since I can't stream it. I'm goofing around with Terra in the lowest quality possible on the laptop, and I can play it. And I like it because it's free to play. Um, I have access to Wildstar as well, and I'm getting ready to try and check that out off stream as well to see how I like it. Yeah, having an arcade gain levels. Sweet. 14's online. Don't really like it. I know. Oh, hi there. Fumagarb. Chuckabo's Wrath. Okay. Okay. Sweet. Uh oh, more fighting. More fighting. What? Oh, your movie you've been watching? J Dog gains a level. Sweet. I want to go here, come back and grab these items. More white musk. Another elixir. Elixirs are so important. Did you like FF8 a lot? Actually, Camelot 2. Final Fantasy 8 was my very first PlayStation 2 uh, PlayStation game as a kid. I actually asked my grandmother to get it for me. She was like, "What are these? What are these games?" I actually begged my grandmother to get me a game for my birthday instead of just giving me like clothes and stuff. And it was the last time I ever asked my grandmother to do anything of that sort because I felt like I was a big letdown. Um, but I was happy with the game nonetheless. Um, eight was amazing. And uh, seven, my brother had it, my older brother. Um, he had seven. And it was those were the two games that pulled me into these these types of games. So imagine Final Fantasy VIII when it first came out. That's, you know, me as a young kid checking these games out for the first time. Uh, but yeah, I love the story of Final Fantasy VIII. I love this.